So I made this particular video for my family and my extended family uh, because you know there is lots of chaos. It lo bato badare badi kyo je chaos ke badare lo ko confused the ya je kama apne koi vaccine levi jo hai koi pana vaccine le levi jo hai. What is the future of the vaccine? So you know there are lot many confusions. The confusions are arising because we don't know the systems biology or we don't know the systems immunology. So basically we don't know the approach. के इन केस वायरस अपना बॉडी में अंदर एंटर था इन देन व्हाट इज नेक्स्ट लाइक यू नो हाउ अवर बॉडी इज गोइंग टू रिएक्ट टू इट इफ वी नो द बेसिस ऑफ इम्यूनोलॉजी देन आई थिंक इट इज मच मोर इजियर टू अंडरस्टैंड वेरियस काइंड ऑफ द वैक्सीन्स लाइक एमआरएनए वैक्सीन लाइक इनएक्टिवेटेड किल्ड वायरस वैक्सीन वेक्टर बेस्ड वैक्सीन एंड देन वी कैन टेक अ फाइनल कॉल ऑन दैट हाउ एवर राइट नाउ यू नो देर आर अदर कंसर्न्स आल्सो हम ना जो नो आई जस्ट गॉट अ मैसेज अप्रोक्सिमेटली फ्यू मिनट्स बैक यू नो द मीडिया मीडिया इज सेंडिंग यू इन्फॉर्मेशन सेकंड बाय सेकंड आई गॉट मैसेज स्टेटिंग दैट नाउ वैक्सीन कैन प्रोड्यूस सम मेमोरी रिस्पांस आल्सो एंड व्हेन यू नो व्हेन यू गेट सच काइंड ऑफ द मैसेजेस यू नो यू आर बॉगल्ड अ लिटिल बिट एज अ डॉक्टर बिकॉज यू नो ईच एंड एवरीवन नोज दैट यू नो वंस यू गेट इन्फेक्टेड देयर विल बी सम काइंड ऑफ द मेमोरी सेल रिस्पांस व्हिच विल बी जनरेटेड एंड व्हिच विल बी देयर विद यू टू प्रोवाइड यू द क्रॉस रिएक्टिव इम्यूनिटी so i would just like to tell whenever you basically uh, you know uh, offer yourself for an experience that experience will definitely change you because you are alive right and that basically does not only happen with human that happens with other animals also that happens with virus bacteria also and hence they change and we use the word mutation we use the word a different kind of the strain but does it mean that if the strain changes we are not protected at all or you know are we really generating that specific response only that depends on which kind of the vaccine probably you are taking or which kind of the response you are generating in your body so if you are bypassing any of the step in terms of generation of the immunity there are likely chances that the probably you know the cross reactive immunity which you are you are supposed to get that probably you may not get adequately that is you know one of the possibilities which uh probably i can foresee right now and i think rest all the remains same so whenever the virus changes we still have the cross reactive immunity which will prevent significantly fatal or serious illness so the idea of getting the vaccine is basically to prevent any significant fatal or serious illness and nothing more than that right so now i will you know take you to the different kind of uh, uh things like you know first i will let you know that what basically our own mrna does what is the function of our own mrna which is getting detached basically from the dna and what it does then i will you know take you to the journey of the virus and what that virus does to our immunology and then i will tell you about the mrna which basically hijacks our own machinery to produce viral proteins in absence of virus i think you know that's pretty interesting and uh, then in the end probably you know you will be able to take your own decision which vaccine you would like to go about i think you know that sounds good for me at least so let's go ahead with that so i think you know i already briefed in terms of uh, whatever i uh, wanted to brief about uh, the current scenario of the vaccine and all this thing so let us go ahead with some uh, you know the basic genetic structure to understand what is this mrna and what it it actually does inside our body and that's a natural mrna i'm talking about so this particular thing right it's basically a nucleus it's nucleus and this is we can say a cell wall in between the nucleus and the cell wall there is something which is called as cytoplasm so we have nucleus we have cytoplasm and we have cell wall so what happens inside the nucleus is we have something which is called as dna and dna looks something like this it's dna and it has multiple you know strands like this which are known as nucleotides and this nucleotides they are genetic codes they carry genetic information so this is the portion of dna and you can say that this one is nucleotides they carry 
genetic information they carry genetic information so how mrna gets synthesized from dna so there is a process called as there is a process called as transcription and that happens inside nucleus it happens inside nucleus it happens here so what happens in the process of basically transcription to form the mrna it actually the dna widens up the portion of the dna widens up and the copy of the codes like these are the genetic codes and the copy of one side of the dna sequence will be replicated so this is the replica of one side of the dna sequence so this is a one side of the dna sequence and this is mrna this is mrna and then after formation of this particular mrna mrna will be given out in the cytoplasm so now we have a copy a one side copy of the genetic sequence with genetic codes about you know what to do about this genetic codes with us in the form of mrna so abhi kya hoga now what will happen that we have something called as ribosome so this is ribosome so ribosome has an a mechanism by which mrna basically comes and gets attached over here with all the genetic code information and in ribosome in ribosome we are having an enzyme called as proteases which will act upon this particular thing so mrna is having a particular coding sequence it is having a particular code and you know it is going to tell ribosome that you form this kind of the proteins and with the help of the proteases it will form a very very specific kind of the protein and let me be very very clear with all of you that mrna has specific codes very very specific codes through which we can create very very specific proteins and this proteins will be made out of mrna and then this proteins will be sent outside to execute their function so this proteins will execute their function so if the protein is for basically insulin the insulin will be created if if sorry if the code is for insulin the insulin will be created the protein necessary for the insulin will be created it will be like you know pre pro insulin mrna which will create pre pro insulin which will create pro insulin and then the insulin will be created so it is something like that and the process where you know all these things are happening where the proteins are created that process is called as translation and this is what exactly happens inside cytoplasm and in cytoplasm ribosome that's how the mrna is basically generated mrna is processed so you know initially the idea was that we are having millions of the copies of the genes but that is not true we are having only 20000 copies where we can basically say they are coding genes or mrna so what is you know the other other part of the dna is made up and other part of the dna is basically made up of other rnas and you, you know it's not made up of coding genes so uh, still you know uh, we we don't understand the entire genomic structure and it will take lots of time to understand the structure more and more in detail but whatever limited information that we have right now we can say that you know this is the process which is happening inside our body inside our nucleus cytoplasm and at the cell wall level so now i would like to go further ahead in terms of what exactly happens in the development of the immunity so please hang on with me so we already discussed <clears throat> function of mrna in our body and you know how it uh, basically transcripts as well as translates to form particular kind of the proteins now is the time to understand the level of the immunological response given by our body and to understand that we'll take an example of live virus or live attenuated virus or a killed virus which is having all the components together so that we can understand the basis of the immunity so let's consider right now this as a dna that you are already aware about 
right? Is a DNA. These are nucleotides, which carries particular genetic information, and you know this is nucleus. Now, you know this. This, this is cell wall, and this is cytoplasm. So this is nucleus. This is cytoplasm, and this is cell wall. Now let's consider that you know this is a coronavirus. So coronavirus has this nucleocapsid protein. This is membrane and envelope protein, and this is mRNA, and this is spike protein. Where you know everyone people are talking about this spike. People are talking about actually few things: spike and its antibodies. Let's understand this. What is going to happen when this particular coronavirus, which is containing spike proteins, which is containing mRNA which contains nucleocapsid which contains membrane and, and envelope proteins when this enters through a process in a cytoplasm right so it is now there inside the cytoplasm with all its components that is spike nucleocapsid membrane and envelope proteins and mrna so this particular guy is a foreign invader in our body and it will be immediately recognized by our immune system which is known as innate immune system an innate immune system is our military it is our first line of the defense it's our military it's called as innate immune system and it is governed by a phagocytes which basically can be anything it can be macrophages it can be dendritic cells it can be osteoclast it can be anything in terms of you know the military which governs this particular immunity so what happens is that that you know if you will just consider this as a kind of the cell which is having a teeth appearance will engulf this particular virus right and after engulfing this particular virus it will degrade this virus into multiple body parts and it will start shredding this multiple body parts into the cytoplasm and you know this all the body parts are basically proteins right this entire process of engulfing the virus and shredding the body parts of the virus into the cytoplasm it is called as phagocytosis is called as phagocytosis some people call it as a phagocytosis also so this is the first line of the defense which happens in our body by terms of you know the macrophage will rush over there uh, the basic you know immune cells like all the basic immune cells will rush over there and uh, dendritic osteoclasts and they will provide the basic military support over there they will degrade this virus and release these proteins and these proteins are nothing but they are spike protein they are membrane and envelope protein. They are nucleocapsids. So this proteins will over a period of time will start coming out of the cell. And as soon as they will peak out of the cell, our CD4 plus T cell will immediately get activated after seeing them. And they will activate in turn CD8 plus T cells, which will immediately recognize this spike. They will recognize even the nucleocapsid. They will recognize membrane and envelope also and they will immediately release the mediators which will provide the effect which is called as cytotoxicity to prevent further damage to the body so cd4 plus t cells are not only activating cd8 plus t cell system they are going to activate something which is called as b cells and these b cells they are responsible for generation of antibodies in our body so basically they will generate the antibodies and antibodies look like Y. This is for the purpose of just understanding. But what is the purpose of antibodies? Because already you know, we are trying to kill this particular proteins which have already entered through CD8 plus T cells, through cytotoxicity. Then when these antibodies are going to help? That's a very good question. So whenever there is a future infection with the COVID-19, say for example, the virus again comes in the circulation and uh, you know, uh, what will happen is immediately these antibodies will go and get attached to the virus. So it will happen like this. Now say for example, one of the antibodies is basically for, you know, membrane and envelope. Some antibodies are only and only for basically uh, nucleocapsid. So they will attach themselves accordingly inside the virus and they will neutralize the virus. Right? Neutralize the virus. But someone will definitely ask then what happens when you know when we are not continuously getting exposed to this particular virus and if we don't have the you know neutralizing capacity if we don't have the neutralizing antibodies and they have vanished over a period of time relax 
you know the virus is going to change because we have provided an experience to the virus and let me tell you very frankly any experience which is provided to anyone that experience will change the life so i mean to say that you know if virus is mutating that's a normal thing for virus to do however if we don't have the neutralizing antibodies for that mutated virus we should always remember that our t cells have a memory response right and it produces a cross reactive immunity also so the chances of any fatal disease or serious disease is really very less if we have already generated a thorough immune response a thorough immune response means involving and incorporating each and every part of the immune system and not bypassing the parts of the immune system so if you consider this virus as an orchestra conductor it basically conducts all and the entire instruments are being played of the immunity right so it's not only playing the role of the antibodies it is not only focused on production of the antibodies what it is focused on is to go get engaged with the military it is basically getting engaged and it is bypassing this particular thing to come out and get exposed to the cd4 t plus cell right after cd4 plus t cell it is getting engaged with cd8 plus t cells also so our all the cells are recognizing the virus and the virus proteins and we are playing the entire orchestra instead of only and only playing violin we are playing drums also we are playing guitar also and we are playing lot many other things so even if you know i will say this is a clap i don't want to miss out on the clap right because it's a part of the system's immunology it's a part of the system's biology so this is the entire response which can be generated when live virus in case of attenuated live virus which is otherwise called as weak virus also or inactivated killed virus so if you get exposed to any of this this kind of the immune response is quite likely which i consider as a wholesome response now let's go ahead with the mrna vaccine and let's see what is happening over there and, and now you know we will talk about uh, mrna vaccine and you know aim of the mrna vaccine let's go ahead with that so only aim the mrna vaccine aim is to produce anti bodies and that is also anti spike antibodies this is the only aim of the mrna vaccine and why mrna vaccine people are talking about is uh, it's cheaper and it's faster as compared to the conventional vaccines because conventional vaccines you have to basically you know get the virus you have to basically culture the virus and then you have to isolate uh, the virus and then subsequently you have to basically attenuate the capability of the virus or kill the virus you know that that takes lots of time and that takes lots of effort also so instead of that people thought about the mrna vaccine so what happens with the mrna vaccine let's you know go ahead with that and this i know all of you by this time know it's a nucleus and uh, uh, this is particular portion is dna right so this is dna and yeah this is cytoplasm and this is cell wall so what happens is that you know this is the vehicle in which the coded mrna mrna 4 spike protein has been kept so this is the vehicle by which we are going to deliver this particular mrna inside the cytoplasm and this is coded particularly to generate the spike protein so what happens is when you deliver this so initially what happens that let's make this cell wall comparatively non transparent here yeah. this will start dissolving and this mrna with particular coding sequence for spike protein coding for spike protein will come out now the thing is that it does not 
go into the stage of the phagocytosis because you know it's 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 just mrna coding right now right previously you know there were instances where you it used to go for the phagocytosis and then then there is you know uh, the phagocytosis will release the spike protein and everything but now we are missing on this stage that is the first thing we are missing on the stage of the innate immunity and now it directly goes and enters inside the rabo ribosome and to be very frank it hijacks our own machinery to produce the spike protein which we are not supposed to produce normally in our own machinery but here in our ribosome we are going to produce spike protein in absence of the virus in absence of the virus we are going to produce spike protein with help of our ribosome because we have coding for the same and now these are the spike proteins and as soon as it goes out there is cd4 plus t cells it will recognize that and it will activate cd8 plus t cells and cd8 t plus cells in terms recognize this guy and it will induce some form of cytotoxicity right so this is what is going to happen but that will happen only and only for spike protein because we don't have any other thing available to us and simultaneously this will activate b cells and that will produce antibodies right as we discussed so whenever there is an attack next time right the next time when there is attack by the actual virus this anti spike antibodies will get attached to the spike proteins to neutralize the virus now i hope you know all the people are able to understand what i am trying to tell is that uh, first of all our machinery is hijacked over here to produce the spike proteins in absence of the virus the spike comes out but there is no nucleocapsid there is no membrane there is no envelope we are missing out on the innate immunity right now and simultaneously whatever memories which we are producing right now that will be for a very very specific strain and very very specific spike protein so whatever antibodies we are developing right now that's those are the antibodies available to us now think that this antibodies vanish over a period of time which they are bound to vanish and we are having the memory with our t cells which will which are likely to give us the cross reactive immunity will only and only be for this particular strain and for this particular spike protein and that's what exactly i am talking about you know why people are talking about the neutralizing antibodies neutralizing antibodies we would like to neutralize against antibodies if you don't have neutralizing antibodies go for the another shot and cross reactive immunity you know so if you are taking a live attenuated virus if you are taking probably a killed virus you are getting all the components but here as the aim is only and only the production of the antibodies the aim is only and only basically playing the violin rather than playing the entire orchestra you, you think about the orchestra conductor who is there and he is just playing the violin he is not playing the drum he is not playing the guitar he is not playing the piano he is not playing the saxophone there is a systems biology and the systems biology clearly states that we should not take the reductionist approach so if there is a chance with the with the with the population to play the entire orchestra i think that will be a better option in terms of generating the cross reactive immunity so i think you know i have tried to cover uh, the aspects possible but uh, the thing is that that what i would like to say at the end is our approach basically should be the wholesome approach rather than just you know specific to the neutralizing antibodies approach or specific to anything else if if we are developing the wholesome immunity if uh, you know we are passing through the stages of the systems immunology and systems biology i think that will generate a better memory response and our immunity will be better for that so you know that's what i would like to say so i already told you i already briefed you about you know various kind of the responses that can be generated and, and now i think you know you can take your own call that you know which vaccine you would like to go about yeah thanks